Mickey Shunick. What an incredible, brave, strong, courageous woman. Wow. We're honored to do the, what do we call it, event? The Bike to the Ballpark. In her honor and her memory. Not only, not only Mickey, but her mother, her family, the way that they've honored her life. And we're glad to uh, celebrate it and to be a part of it. Supper wise, you know, we're in the grind right now. In the grind. Stay after it. Tony got to have all the fun last week talking about throwing down. Can't believe I didn't get a part of that. Talk about philosophy of athletics and the meaning that it has. And in a lot of ways and a lot of times, the meaning of athletics can just be the love of the game. But if you have to find meaning beyond the game, Sometimes it's better to find it in competition. Value and, and, and meaning in how you compete than rather how you feel. That's what I believe. Throwing down, throwing down is a good way to put it. You don't really throw down physically, but you really have to throw down mentally too. And that's the part of the season we're at now. Throwing out. Think about it. Mic problems here. Check mic. Yeah. Man, that that bus ride was crazy. I don't know if it's because I'm old now, and in there, and the other ones never bothered me. But wow, <laughs> we had all that weather, so we had to we had to bypass the weather to come back. But it, you know, it's what I just talked about. These kids are these kids are warriors. As a coach, you worry about all that stuff. You worry about getting off the bus and how that's going to affect them and is it going to give them a, an excuse or and those kids got off the bus Saturday and they were locked in and they were ready to go this group is so impressive and I'm not talking about talent wise because I think we're short some talent on this team but the way they compete it, it inspires me I love I love going to battle with him. With a couple of run rules, if you look at your box score, you might not think it's the most competitive game, but what do you gain from those games? I mean, your hitting is coming together and you can bat around so many times, more looks and things like that. She pulled her starter early in game one, so that's why the game got away from her. And she was going to save her to set her up for game three. So that's why game one got away. I mean, she kind of waved the flag, pulled her starter. Didn't go to her number two, just kind of went to some kids that haven't had any innings. So the game, you know, the game got away from them, man. Game two, you know, our kids kept the momentum. And then we knew, you know, last year, game three, they beat us. So we knew, we knew what, we knew what the weekend was setting up for. We knew it was setting up for, for game three. And I'm just telling you, game three it wasn't wasn't pretty, and it wasn't easy. You know, sometimes on Sunday you got to win ugly, and those kids were just they were what we call empty in the tank. They were just laying it all out there and just put it, just let it, just let it finish. I was. As a coach, you just, you're not supposed to, but I'm just counting the house to get out of there. 
I still have to get out of there. Because at some point it's gonna, it's gonna wear on you. So, to be back here is, this is the best place in the, in the country to live. It's the best place in the country to play softball. This is the best place in the country to eat. It's the best place in the country to be around good people. The total attendance of the weekend series is like 150 people. You come here, yeah, anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 people. These kids are so loved and appreciated here and this community and this fan base. What they do for not only our program, but just for everything. Like we're talking about Mickey Shudik and the festivals and athletics and everything we do in this community. I think we do it first class. I really do. And everybody who comes here, who plays here, who experiences this culture, they love it. They fall in love with this place. <laughs> We're still walking through some things, you know. We still have to be more consistent on the mound. Still would like to try to pick up another row. Still trying to figure out what's going to happen in the middle of that lineup. Like, we're going to find some consistency there. Our slappers came up in some situations, some RBI situations, and we came up short, so we got to fix that. we got to have a hitter off the bench, which we don't. I mean, we go to the bench. Everybody says you got to go to the bench. So you go to the bench, but maybe that kid's not ready. It's just not a situation where we have the right, uh, the right matchups. And sometimes you know what the right decision is, and you know, well, this is what you would do in a normal situation, but we just had to keep building and developing the personnel. I mean, you never, you never really get there. And if we don't build it and develop it, then we have to find a way to get it done with the personnel that we have. I mean, that's really the two options. <laughs> so, I think in this conference, and it doesn't ever get enough credit, you know, everybody talks about softball and baseball like it's football, but it's not, you know. It's not what, that's not what this sport is about. And this conference, historically in softball, has been a strong conference, and even if it's a team at the back end of the standings, they, they're going to come they're going to come compete, and not only for that one series, but it's there's that rivalry that goes back and forth, and that pride, and all that good stuff, so. This conference, it, 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 trust me, the success that we've had over the years has been a direct result of competing in this conference. And to be able to get through this conference the way that we want to get through it, it it's, you got to keep grinding. If you think you're going to take a week off and just be all right, you're not. You're going to get popped. You're going to get a little wake-up call. I think, I mean, we do a lot of intra-squad swimming, too. We really do. We, we, we'll go, we'll go today, split squad, and get as many as five to six arms going. And then we'll go again tomorrow. Same thing. And, you know, that'll be on Friday, and then ready to go, ready to go for Saturday. Obviously, you're resting the top end of, you know, Put the stress on your top end stars during the during the middle of the week. Part of the reason why we don't like to do the midweek games is so we can we can develop those young kids, put them in situations where they have to grow and they have to get better. 
I think we have three to four very nice young arms, and we got to throw we got to throw three or four of them this weekend as when the game got away. But it's something that we've been seeing in the scrimmages, and something that look you know you won you won the injury away from that kid being a top line starter. You know, people think when when you get a dead arm or or, or whatever happens, you better you better have a you better have a backup plan. So in our minds we build it long term, knowing that three of our older kids are exiting the program after this year. So whatever the timeline is to develop one of those young arms, whether it's right now or in four or five months, <clears throat> is something that's inevitable. Or Whatever the whatever the game tells us, if the game tells us tomorrow that okay this kid's done, this other kid needs to be ready to get out there and get it done, then that has to be our mindset every day. So I think it's very realistic. I uh, you know I don't think that it's realistic to think that you can do it that you can play the same style, but I think it's very realistic to think that that kid can get up there and pitch to her stress and then that the team can be comfortable around her that's I, I really I really believe that this team it's a, it's a great group of kids. It's just, it's a great group of kids. I mean, and I, 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 I enjoy, people always walk up to me all the time and say, you know, you're not tired of coaching, and you're not tired of those 13 hour bus rides, and you're not tired of sitting out there, throwing BP, and hanging out with these kids. I mean, Go fishing. <laughs> I love the, I love these kids and uh, I love being around them and it's not the it's not the winning, it's it's not the uh, it's not the pay, it's not the great hours, it's just the relationships with these kids. So what I know about my team and what I know about these kids are it's exactly what 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 I talked about at the beginning and what Coach Robertson talked about last week, that if you get around kids that that know how to compete and they just do things the right way, then you enjoy being around them. It's not like you have to just walk around all the time with a whip and just on, on them and correcting them and telling them to do this and do that and these kids these these are good kids these are good kids who know how to work and know how to compete know how to show up and don't make excuses and they're not whiners and they dream big man they dream they dream big and they're not scared to, they're not scared to, they're not scared to love each other they're not scared to take big risks they're not scared to fail they're not, they're, they're just not, they're just, these are wonderful kids to be around, and I, I really have been blessed, I've, we, we, we've had some good cycle of kids, and the leadership of the team has always been an extension of the values of what we want to do in our program, so as long as that's here, the, the, the extension of the, the leaders, and the people on the team are extension of the values of what we want to what we want to represent. I'm I'm hanging with them. When we get to all that other stuff that we talked about last week, and the values are going back and forth, and the motivations for why we do it, and I I don't know that I I don't know that I can do that. So what I know about this team, and what I love about this team is. I love, I love who they are, I love their character, I love the way they compete, I love what they represent. And I didn't learn that this weekend, 
I learned that a long time ago when I when I started recruiting. And just being around them over and over and over again as you go through the grind makes you appreciate it more and more and more and more and more. And more.